Why, hello there. Let me tell you about Charles Law. Charles Law, also known as the Law of Volumes, is used to explain how gas expands when heated. Joseph Louis Gay Lussac was the first to publish findings on the Law of Volumes in 1802. Gay-Lussac also published works on Gay-Lussac's law that stated the mass and pressure of a gas are held constant. Charles' law is defined as when a given mass of a gas is heated at a constant pressure. The volume V of a given mass of a gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. Oh. The formula for solving these equations is V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. This means that the volume and temperature of a gas are proportional before and after change. Volume and temperature are proportional as long as mass and pressure stay constant. So therefore, if a gas was heated and also gained mass, it would not be proportional to the original gas. For an example, we'll say a balloon takes up 625 liters at zero degrees Celsius. If it is heated to 80 degrees, what new volume will it be? The first step you need to take when doing these equations is to convert the temperatures from Celsius to Kelvin because the final answer for these equations must be in Kelvin. So for the first temperature, T1 equals 0 plus 273 equals 273K. And for the second temperature, T2 equals 80 plus 273 equals 353K. The next step is to fill in the variables and simplify the equation. After you do that, you'll get V1 times T2 divided by T1 equals V2 through cross multiplication. Then, when you fill your variables in, your final equation will be 625 liters times 353 Kelvin divided by 273 Kelvin equals 808 liters. This better work because I only brought two. Okay, so that's about a liter of air stuck in this balloon. Now, suppose you did the following experiment. Suppose you were to cool it to minus 196 degrees C. How are you going to do that? Well, minus 196 degrees C just happens to be the boiling point of nitrogen, so you could do this by pouring liquid nitrogen on it. See what happens to the volume of this thing. First of all, the, the rubber gets kind of brittle, so sometimes it goes bang. You can probably see better from where you're sitting that this is minus 196 degrees C. So according to Charles' law, it should shrink, and it did, of course. There's just as much air in there as there was before, but the volume has shrunk considerably. For his work, he gave the unpublished work credit <laughs> on the law volumes, but credit the undiscovered... All right, cut. Say it a couple times. Joseph... Joseph Lewis... <laughs> Joseph Lewis... <laughs> Joseph Lewis <laughs> Watch out, Action. No. Gay you touch me, I kill you. Guys, really? Really? How old are we? Ten. Grow up. And if you memorize that line, the you'll form... know the equation if you test us on it. The form... Action. This means that... The... <laughs> just stay where you are. Just... No, Alright. Can you just focus? Try! <laughs> this means that the volume and temperature of a gas are always prepared before <laughs> and after change. It's so good. He's running <laughs> off into the I'm, distance. I'm really <laughs> Space Shuttle Travis, prepare to dock. <laughs> On dock. Degrees Celsius. Damn it. Looper hard right there. <laughs> Action. Try it. Go, go. <laughs> the next step is to Fill in all the variables and simplify. <laughs> yeah, sure, look at me, that will help.